welcome to the FinTech Focus TV. We love to celebrate the FinTech businesses that have big ideas and those that are making waves in their field. Today, we've got Helen Cass, the head of test strategy at Yobota. Now, Yobota has been uh, building a super fast cloud-based platform for financial services and automates all the different difficult technical aspects of the financial services world. Who wouldn't want that? She's here today to share her story. Welcome, Helen. Thank you. Nice to meet you. And <laughs> Lovely to meet you as well. What can you tell us about yourself and why you joined Yobota? Sure. Well, I, my, my uh, financial services career started in about 2004 when actually I worked for a, a, what was then a small fintech company called Swapswire. And I joined as, a, as an automation tester. Um, again, very, very forward thinking company. All testing had to be automated. And, you know, I really had a, had a good time there. But uh, yeah, I sort of moved into more management positions as the time went on. I, I've been contracting for many years. So been able to apply my trade, if you like, in lots of different settings, you know, sort of worked my way up to sort of be a sort of program test management level. Um, a lot of this was within the big investment banks, you know, such as Credit Suisse and Barclays Capital, those kind of things. Um, but yeah, I just, I just came to the sort of point in my professional life where actually the excitement and the interest of the, you know, sort of new forward thinking companies who are recreating the world of banking, recreating using new technologies and the flexibility that that offers. And yeah, it's, it's a mindset, you know, the sort of legacy systems in the banks, the, banks, the conventional banks, shall we say, are putting loads of money into supporting legacy systems, often with out of date languages, you know, a lot of people that have to have to do that and everything just gets very slow and, 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 and very staid. So I made the decision that I wanted to go back to working for a fintech. Um, I've obviously had to sort of upskill to a certain extent and, and learn the new ways of doing things, but ultimately, it's, you know, it's a very exciting place to be and, and using all the cloud-based technologies that now exist to make a much more flexible banking platform than, than the investment banks really are in a position to do. Absolutely. And, you know, we were discussing earlier how many fintechs and startups don't really make it past that sort of one or two year mark. But obviously, Yobota has. And how do you think, you know, the company and even yourself have learned to scale and adapt? Uh, yes, I think the, the founders, um, James and Amar, have, have you know, done a fantastic job in terms of getting the, the company to sort of where it has. But I think what they have also realised is the fact that to scale up, you, you can't be a business analyst, a computer programmer and a tester all by yourself, which of course is what they've been doing for a long period of time. So uh, building teams around those capabilities who can then develop, bring in some expertise in each of those areas is, is, is required to scale. So obviously I've been brought in to, to look at the testing function. There's a lot of good stuff going on at the moment about testing the platform, a lot of automation, lots of continuous deployment. Um, but yes, now we've been becoming more user focused. We have, you know, one client obviously been onboarded who's, you know, just won an award, you know, for a uh, little plug there for, for Chetwood, who, you know, a fintech in Wales. Um, but we, we provide their core banking platform. Um, they, they completely run on our system. And it's, but the acknowledgement that we're going to want to go multi-client, the clients are banking uh, clients they're not, not not end customers and the challenger banks typically so we need to have a more customer centric approach the customization that various new innovators in the banking space are going to need from our platform yeah it's it's my job to sort of turn it from a from a um, system based test automation to a more user centric you know uh, validating on behalf of our customers style of testing mm -hmm. both of which are important of course but it's just getting that, the balance right and and, and taking a boater on that journey Absolutely. And in terms of, you know, obviously Yobota, what do you feel like the major challenges facing the industry are that Yobota overcomes? Well, I'm just taking this time at time of, of, of COVID. I mean, you know, being able to have the flexibility of working on use cases that are now required that have moved up our product backlog and you know, we are working 100%. We're, you know, we're all working remotely from home, obviously, you can't be a cloud-based platform without having that that ability as well um so you know working various things that have come up you know the pipeline like payment holidays or you know other things that are going to be necessary and it's a very very flexible approach to doing this and you know it's still small enough to be able to have that flexibility while having the sort of 
new processes in place that are enable, enable you know delivery safely and and quickly absolutely and you know you talk about obviously the real risk in the industry is not taking chances and even yourself you've got such an amazing background and, and different experiences what is there anything that I guess you could really tell or what your experience has been like that you'd like to share with others? Um, I think it is, it's the same thing as, as, as your boat or as for, uh, something I've, I've lived myself. You, it, sometimes you get to a situation where the only thing you can change is yourself. And, and actually you can't work in change management if you don't have the ability to change yourself. And, you know, um, I've, I've you know, been, been in dead ends. I've been in situations where you think, actually, this is not where I want to be. But it's having that courage to change and move and having the flexibility to change and move. And yeah, sometimes the only person, you, you know, only if it, things you can change are yourself. So whether it's it's learning a new skill, whether it's it's taking on a slightly different role, any of that kind of stuff, having that flexible mindset, I think, is important for people as it is for organisations. Absolutely. And, and obviously that flexible mindset, I think, is something that so many more people are being more vocal about. Is there any advice you would give to inspire the next generation or to your younger self? Invest in yourself. <laughs> I think you can't, the, the days of, of um, you know, careers for life, of promotions within a single company and you, the training that you need to get to the next stage is, is gone. Um, I think people need to invest in themselves, in their own training, um, what, what interests you, what is available in the market at the moment, you know, the opportunities that, that may be there mm -hmm. and, and not be afraid to take those chances and take that, that, that next step. Absolutely. I think that's such an important point. And when it comes to, as you said, you know, looking forward, are there any plans for 2020 that are exciting or even perhaps beyond? Well, we certainly are looking to expand our, our customer base and, you know, in the retail banking space we have with Checkwood, obviously a savings um, product and a deposit product. Um, mortgages are on the coming in the pipeline you know other other financial services but yes the your boater itself is a very flexible system it, it does all the heavy lifting in terms of you know interest payment calculations managing the general ledger, ledger customer onboarding and this can be configured to whatever potential clients would like from an innovative financial product so this is what where your boater sits in the marketplace it's enabling those innovative financial products to come to existence in a quick efficient you know spinning up environments in the cloud very very quickly that's how we support our clients in the financial innovation space and you know financial innovation we've, we've obviously seen in the past few years it's gone through the roof what do you think the financial services or maybe the fintech sector will look like in five years time Certainly think it'll grow. I think it's, it's definitely bigger. I think that the current situation is, is just going to increase that, that speed because the speed that the fintechs can move at is so much faster to adapting situations than, than the legacy systems of the, of the traditional banks. And, you know, using modern software development techniques that have been uh, pioneered, I suppose, by the, by the Amazons and the Googles and the, uh, and, and the Netflixes, um, <laughs> using those modern ways of deploying software quickly, efficiently, lots of automated testing, getting out to the customer very quickly, I think is going to put all the fintechs that, that go, through, go through that process um, in a very, very good place in the next four to five years. Amazing. Well, that was really insightful. Thank you so much, Helen, for, for that information. And we're really excited and looking forward to seeing how your boat to grow, uh, especially as yourself. Thank you. Thank you very much. Nice to talk to you. Lovely talking to you.